New public housing development in Annapolis is now open. Wilborn Estates stands where the old Newtown 20 years ago, Newtown 20 was rather. WMR2 News' Don Harrison was there and has more. It's, it was needed. It was needed. Annapolis resident Joyce Stone talking about the old development she lived in, Newtown 20, a public housing development on Newtown Drive. The housing development fell into shambles and needed to be torn down. That means people living in the 78 units there would be out of a home. Local officials said they would find a way to build it back. Tenants were skeptical about the change and didn't believe their units would be available when they wanted to come back. But here we are with 78 new units in what now is called Wilborn Estates. 32 people have decided to come back. Two weeks and it's so beautiful. Sign G. Green is one of them who were surprised they kept their word. And after 30 years in Newtown 20, she is in her new place in Wilburn Estates. Newtown 20 had deteriorated into what was almost an unlivable condition. Now that things are brand new and in much better shape, people tend to want to keep it that way. It takes care of mine, the outside too. I don't let the kids, when I see the kids running around, I stop them from doing things. And um, I take care of what's down there in that area anyway. Wilburn Estates now has a 3,500 square foot clubhouse with offices and entertainment areas inside. A new playground and basketball court are in to give kids something to do. This was all made possible by local, state, and federal money. Mayor Gavin Buckley says there is more to come. $10 million of investment going into the next neighborhood, uh, Woodside. Beyond that, we're doing a new uh, mixed income housing development on Forest Drive next to the Legion, and then a beautiful connecting road that will keep kids off of a forest drive. Ms. Stone knows it takes a village to keep a neighborhood a safe everybody home. Everybody getting together and doing it together, everybody got to do it, a neighbor, you know, it takes the neighborhood to do it, you know. In Annapolis, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.